Yeah, so so I've been with Sophie. I actually forget the. I think it's like four years now. I I forget exact time, but we've been with them for a lot, a big part of our company is about five years old, and I think we've been with them for four out of those five years. So, a big percentage of our uh, of our company lifespan has has been with Sophie, and we've been outsourcing for basically about that time. Um, in the in the beginning. You know, we hired a couple of people in house,、uh, but as we started to scale and 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 we want as we wanted to look for、um, both more cost effective solutions, but also more scalable solutions, we started looking at、uh, many outsourcing companies. We tested it with a variety, both from the Philippines, from India, some from Pakistan. I, I think we probably went through maybe six or seven companies before we settled on Sophie. So,、uh, you know, we we have we have experimented with a lot of different. Types of companies, and we still outsource in addition to Sophie some other things like some chat support, some 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 data work is done with some outsourcing companies. So so a lot a big portion of what we do is、uh, out outsourced. Right. It seems that you have、um, it's very ingrained into your company. Then did you almost build the company with a view to outsource, or was there a point where you discovered outsourcing? Yeah, it was. A, it was. I, I guess it wasn't necessarily. I initially, like when I was thinking of this company, oh, we have to outsource it. But pretty early on, it became, it became quite apparent that、um, both、uh, th that the economics worked out, but also that we were able to find a good company that was able to do the work that we wanted to do. I think when I started this company,、um, you know, we want to do things in house first to get the processes in place.、Uh, but also, I wasn't, you know, I wasn't an outsourcing expert at the time.、I、wasn't necessarily sure if outsourcing companies could handle what we did. So. Uh, you know, we have evolved a little bit towards that, but you know, as 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 you know, it was pretty early on in our company, and and as we've done it for you know the vast majority of our lifespan, it, our company has started to shift more and more towards outsourcing, just because it's something that that works well for us, but it's also something that both us and Sophie have been slowly getting better over time with, and it just makes more and more sense as we continue to grow together. Right, and so did you notice that? There is an upskilling. You started with basic tasks, and then and then the complexity of tasks have got more and more significant. Yeah, I, I think it's also partially because our company has evolved over time as well too. So you know, in the beginning, yeah, we we did start with basic tasks.、Um, as as Sophie and the, our agents who who are full time、um, through Sophie, as they become more comfortable with our business, and as as they started to understand how our business works more too. Uh, we've been able to bring on extra tasks and and more complex tasks where you know because they understood our business and have been dealing with our customers for so long you know they're able to pick up at a much quicker pace and that's enabled us to offload a lot of work、um, that you know normally I would have thought we would have bring do, do, like either myself or somebody else on our New York team would have to do you know we were able to. Uh, have the Sophie team do it, and that that's been a huge help for us. Comparing it to if you were building the same company with a purely New York staff base, like what is the the comparative viability is like? Yeah, I, I think so. So the, it, it's interesting because、um, I, I think one of the best, one of the most surprising things that I'm I'm happy with with Sophie is how sophisticated our agents are. I think a lot of people when when I tell people that oh we 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 outsource a lot of our work. They think it's a lot of mundane tasks, you know, and and, and while while that does exist,、um, our our agents at Sophie's are pretty sophisticated. They're able to do things that I think the if we hired within New York,、um, I, I think they they could do just as good, if not better.、Um, you know, one of the one of the greatest things that I like about the Sophie team is that、uh, they're able to. They're able to recruit, recruit, not only spend like for me to spend the time recruiting there, but to save、uh, me spending time to recruit and hire people. But they're actually able to recruit really good people, hiring great, hiring good、uh, agents to task on、uh, at scale is really hard to do, and that's something that Sophie's very, from from my experience, very unique at.、Uh, and just in general, you know, when you're hiring for a company, hiring the best people is really important, and I think. Sophie does a very good job at that. So I, I think in in certain ways, even if we were to hire New York, if you took out the cost, you know, I I, I don't necessarily think, it, you know, in some ways it would be different, but、um, I don't necessarily think it'd be better for certain for many of the things that we do. Do you have any really rough indication as to the cost differential? Like, is is it? I think it. Yeah, I, I think it depends、um, because it, it, you know, if, if you want to get somebody of of equal quality. 
I'd have to say maybe I, I'm I'm gonna guess I, I'm gonna throw out a number that's like I would say four times cheaper maybe, but but that that's that's a very rough estimate because um uh you know the, the people that we get at Sophie are are very strong candidates that I, I think would possibly be difficult to get in New York for the similar types of tasks too. So it's it's, it's something that it's it, I don't know if it's necessarily apples to apples, but you definitely save a lot of money. Um, but I think I think the best part about Sophie is that. We one, I save a lot of time for myself having to recruit good agents, uh, but also they're they're actually you know so that that's a huge part. But the agents are actually able to do what we want to ask sometimes better than the people that you know I've, I've worked with at other companies as well. So it's a very unique situation. Before you like went into this headlong, did you have any apprehensions about outsourcing? Were you? Yeah, uh, I. I I, I think everybody does a little bit just because, you know, we are a U.S. based company um, from a cultural standpoint, you know, our outsource uh, workers do a lot of customer support. So uh, and we're in the online food delivery space. So there's a lot of um, a lot of like food items, like like, for example, certain types of cuisines, you know, I, I thought maybe culturally that might be something that they might not they might not be familiar with. So initially, you know, th that was the biggest apprehension. Uh, but, you know, it, it was something that is pretty easy to get over with and overall we've been very happy with the experience that we've got so far. Great. And would you ever go back? Would you ever reverse the the uh, the, the test? Would you ever stop outsourcing? Yeah. Oh, um, for, for, for my particular company, definitely not. I mean, I think we've kind of gotten to the point where, uh, you know, the outsourcing that we do, they run they run a big portion of our company. So, so uh, it's, it's it's something that you know. I, I think a lot of our agents at Sophie's are kind of the drivers of our company. Um, so, so at this point, definitely not. But you know, in terms of what if if I had a completely different company, I, I I'm not sure. But for for this company that we're doing with online food delivery, especially because we deal with so many customer phone calls, customer issues, restaurant phone calls, and restaurant issues, um, you know, there's there's a lot of work to be done there. And I think um, outsourcing is a very good fit for it. I think a lot of companies in our industry actually do outsource a lot of the, you know, customer support work. Did you quite realize quite the capability and capacity of outsourcing? Did you think when you started it was just bookkeepers or, you know, did you realize actually you can run your entire company? Yeah, I, 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 I'm not sure if I thought that far just because in the beginning, you know, we did start with very specific tasks and we started expanding from there. Um, but yeah, I guess looking back four years from now, I definitely didn't think they'd be doing as much as they are now. So I, I, I was very pleasantly surprised. But you know, e even in the beginning, I, I, you know, we worked with many types of companies, and there's a variety of people. But I, I was pretty impressed with the capabilities of some of the agents that we had early on, and 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 um, especially speaking with Chloe and and uh, you know, kind of seeing how our agents progressed and how they continue to better understand the company and even, even come up with certain ideas. Um, you know, I, I, I am pretty confident in their abilities at this point. So uh, yeah, definitely I didn't think that this far ahead that, you know, they would be as good as they are. But um, but yeah, not at, the, at this point, you know, I, I'm, I, I hold them to pretty high standards and I, I, I trust them a lot, a lot of work to do. And I, I, I do uh, expect our company to grow a lot and, and, and because I, I know they're, very smart, capable people. I do expect them to improve as well. And anything else you kind of want to add, or no, no. I, mean, I think you hit a lot of points. I mean, overall, you know, obviously, you know, we're we're very happy with our experience so far, and a lot of our a lot of the work of our company is because of the agents that we've done uh, that we work with. So, um, you know, we've had a very good experience with, and I think, especially for our company in particular, outsourcing has been uh, a great asset for us. Mm -hmm.